welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on scoliosis. Scoliosis is defined as an abnormal lateral curvature of the spine. Here you can see in this picture of the x-ray here. Scoliosis can be classified into posterior and structural scoliosis. So in posterior scoliosis, the deformity is secondary or compensatory to another condition outside the spine. And some examples are like, for example, if the patient has one leg shorter than the other, it can cause posterior scoliosis or pelvic tilt due to contracture of the hip. And in these conditions, when the patient sits down, thereby cancelling the asymmetry of the leg length, the curve will disappear. Whereas for structural scoliosis, there is non-correctable deformity of the affected spinal segment. And some of the types of structural scoliosis are adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, which is the most common cause. And other types are like infantile idiopathic scoliosis, neuropathic, myopathic, or also syndromic causes. So in this video, I will focus more on the most common cause of scoliosis, which is adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. It consists of 90% out of all the cases of scoliosis, and it is commonly seen among females, usually present between 10 to 15 years old, and there is greatest progression of the scoliosis during pubertal growth, with minimal progress after puberty. So clinical features, the deformity will be more obvious on flexion, the shoulder is elevated on the side of convexity and the hip will stick out on the side of concavity. Breasts may be asymmetrical, plus the rib angles protrude in thoracic scoliosis. For investigation, you can do x-ray, which includes the full-length AP spine, lateral flexion x-ray and also pelvic x-ray. So the main findings are to look at the corpse angle and to check the recess sign. So I'll talk a bit on corpse angle. So to measure this corpse angle, the upper and the lower ends of the curve are identified as the levels where the vertebrae start to angle away from the curve. And this degree of curvature is measured by drawing lines on the x-ray at the upper border of the uppermost vertebra and the lower border of the lowermost vertebra of the curve. You can see in this middle picture over here. And the angle subtended by these lines will be the angle of curvature which is also known as the corpse angle. Whereas for recess sign, it is to measure the skeletal maturity. And this is important because the curve often progress most during the period of rapid skeletal growth and maturation. So after puberty, the iliac apophysis will start ossifying shortly. And the ossification starts from lateral to the medial. And once the iliac crests are completely ossified, further progression of the scoliosis is minimal. So recess sign can be graded into grade 1 to 5. And if you look at the picture on the right side, the x-ray, so grade 1 is ossification, 25%, and grade 2 is 50%, grade 3 75%, and grade 4 100% ossification, extending medially. Whereas for grade 5, the iliac apophysis is fused to the iliac crest. So you can see how the iliac apophysis look like on the left picture. When there is full skeletal maturation, it will fuse to the ileum. For management of this uh, adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, depends on the corpse angle and also the grading of the recess sign. So I've summarized it in this table here. If the corpse angle is less severe, less than 20 degrees, and depending so on all the grades, we, will, we can offer observation for the patient, which includes four monthly follow-up and also full-length spine x-ray to check for any further progression of the scoliosis. If the corpse angle is between 20 and 40 degrees, it depends on the grading of the recess sign, whether to give breast therapy or if already post-pubertal can offer observation as there is lesser risk of progression of the scoliosis. If the corpse angle is more than 40 degrees, which is very severe, we can offer surgery plus supports post-op to prevent recurrence of the scoliosis. And if already post-pubertal, where there is reduced in progression of scoliosis, 
can offer surgery if the curve is more than 50 degrees to avoid complications of scoliosis. So this picture shows the types of bracing, which includes the Boston brace and also Milwaukee brace. These braces can prevent progression of the scoliosis, however it doesn't improve the deformity. And surgery can also be offered where there is the correction surgery and 50% of correction will be regarded as satisfactory result. This picture shows before and after the correction surgery. So that's all for this video, thank you.